this class you work out on problem a three phase three winding 50 hertz transformer rated 110 bar 11 bar 6.6 .6 kV as the measured impedances between the windings refer to 30 MV as Z per unit PS is equal to J.16 Z per unit PT is equal to J.1 Z per unit ST is equal to J.09 A balanced load supplied from the 6.6 .6 kV secondary winding draws a current of 2 kilo amps 0.8 power factor lagging and the star connected capacitor band with a 50 ohm reactance per phase is supplied from the 11 kV tertiary winding. Find the voltage required at the 110 kV primary terminals to maintain 6.6 .6 kV across secondary winding. Draw the equivalent single phase circuit marking all parameters that are. That's a question. We choose base MBA is equal to 30, base KV is equal to 11. We can find Z per unit primary, Z per unit secondary, Z per unit tertiary winding. Z per by using these formulas, Z per unit primary is equal to J.085. Z per unit secondary is equal to J.075. Z per unit tertiary winding J.015. We can find the per unit reactance of the capacitor. Here the per unit reactance is given 50 ohms. So actual ohms into MBA by KV square. So minus J50 into 30 by 11 square. That is equal to minus J12.40 per unit. Next I have to find the base current. Here 30 MBA, that is the base, 30, that is 30,000 divided by root 3 into 6.6. .6. Base current is 2624.32 amps. Once I know the base current, I can easily find the secondary current, that is I2. I2 is equal to 2 kilo amps, that is 2000 divided by actual by base, 2000 divided by 2624.32. I2 is equal to point 762. Here, 0.762 angle 0, that is chosen as a reference phase. Power factor is given 0.8. Cos theta is equal to 0.8. Theta is equal to 36.87. V2 is equal to, and that is voltage is 1 per unit. Angle is 36.87, which is in polar form. In the rectangular form, V2 is equal to 0.8 plus J.6 per unit. The next step I have to find the voltage drop in the second winding. Voltage drop in the second winding is I2 into second impedance. So per unit I2 is equal to 0.762 angle 0. ZS per unit is equal to J.075. Therefore voltage drop is equal to J.057. I can easily find the voltage at node A. That is V2 per unit plus the drop. So V2 is equal to 0.8 plus J.6. Drop is equal to J.057. Therefore voltage at node A is equal to 0.8 plus J.657. Once I know the voltage I can find the current I3. I3 is equal to node voltage VA divided by this is a tertiary winding impedance Z T per unit plus capacitor per unit reactance. So I3 per unit is equal to minus 0.053 plus J.065. So I know I2 and I3, I can find the primary current. So I1 per unit is equal to I2 per unit plus I3 per unit. I1 is equal to 0.709 plus J.065. That is I1. So I1 into primary impedance, that will be the drop. So voltage drop in the primary winding is, is equal to minus 5.53 into 10 to the power minus 3 plus J.0603. I can find the primary voltage. V1 is equal to 
VA plus drop. Voltage at node A plus this term. So V1 is equal to 0.794 plus J.7173 in rectangular form. In polar form, V1 per unit is equal to 1.07 angle 43.09 degrees. So I can easily calculate the actual value, V1 actual. V1 actual is equal to 1.07 into 110. That is equal to 117.70 kV. That is a line to line voltage. So, 117.70 kV at primary terminals is required to maintain 6.6 kV across secondary winding. The answer is 117.70 kV. That is a line to line voltage. This is the equivalent circuit. Advantages of per unit system Number 1 Manufacturers usually specify the impedance value of equipment in per unit of the equipment's rating. If any data is not available, it is easier to assume the per unit value than its numerical value. Number 2 The circuit loss varies in per unit systems. While the power and voltage equations are simplified, since the factors root 3 and 3 are eliminated. Number 3. The per unit system gives as a clear idea of, of relative magnitude of various quantities such as voltage, current, power and impedance. Number 4. The per unit value of impedance, voltage and current of a transformer are same regardless of whether they are referred to primary side or secondary side. Number 5. The per unit impedance is same on the two sides of the transformer, that is star or delta. Number 6. For computerized analysis and simulation of complex power problem, per unit system representations are ideal. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.